welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Now, as I go about my daily life, I'm often told that I look way younger than my age. Sometimes I'm talking about things that happened years ago and people are looking at me like, how did you know about that? And I'm like, oh, I was around during that time and they are often very, very shocked. So what I'm gonna do for you today, I'm gonna show you one of my remedies that I use on my skin to have my skin looking years younger. Younger. Guys, the new 51 years old that now look 30 years old. So if you're interested in looking years younger, follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to make my remedy and I also will show you how to use it on your skin for best results. Today we're going to be using cornstarch in this recipe. We're using the cornstarch for its skin tightening properties. Cornstarch also have vitamin A, which will help to boost the collagen production in the skin. If you have oily skin, cornstarch is an amazing ingredient to use on the skin. Cornstarch also has been used in many skincare products. So I'm using one teaspoon of the cornstarch and I'm pouring this in my small jar. Make sure to use a small jar with a cover. Next, I'm using one tablespoon of hot water. Make sure the water is to boiling point and then I'm going to mix this into a gel. Once you pour hot water on the cornstarch, it's going to get very jelly and this is exactly what we are doing, making cornstarch gel to start with. Now take a look at this. This is what it looks like up close. So just continue to mix. Get rid of any lump that might be in this. And if you need to add a little bit more hot water, go ahead and do so. And next we're moving on to our second ingredient and this is yogurt. We're using yogurt for its protein. We're using it for its lactic acid. It also contains vitamin E. It will help to nourish the skin. And not only that, yogurt will help to get rid of spots and blemishes from the skin, hydrates the skin, lock that moisture in the skin. And when mixed with the cornstarch, it's going to leave your skin with a natural glow. So I'm using one tablespoon of the yogurt. We're pouring this in the container and we're just going to mix and mix well. Make sure to complete completely blend the two ingredients together as I'm showing here and this is going to take about a minute or so. Once we totally mix the two together we're now going to add a third ingredient and we're using aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. It helps to nourish skin. It helps to soften skin. It also helps to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation, such as acne scars, dark spots, and blemishes. It also helps to get rid of blackhead and whitehead on the skin. Using aloe vera gel on a regular on the skin will leave the skin with a natural glow. Clean, clear, bright, supple looking skin. So I'm mixing the aloe vera gel with my cornstarch and yogurt and I'm mixing well. Make sure to mix completely so that the three ingredients infuse together. Once finished mixing, it should look something like this. Very creamy, very rich looking, free from lumps totally infused together. Now guys, once you have this, this is a base. You can choose to use this on your face just as is, or you can choose to add other ingredient. What I'm gonna be using is some vitamin A, and today I have vitamin A capsule. We're using this to boost the collagen production in the skin. Vitamin A is very strong, so you do not need a lot. Just about three to four drops in this remedy is good, so I'm using just one capsule. Now a good substitute for vitamin A is some rosehip oil. So I'm just gonna squeeze my vitamin A capsule in, and as you can see, run about four to five drops.
Next, I'm going to use another oil in this, and this oil is going to help to lock the moisture in the skin, penetrate deep into the skin, and leave the skin just plump, bright, and radiant. Here I have some castor oil. Now, castor oil contains rhizolelic acid, which will help to hydrate the skin, boost the collagen production in the skin, moisturize the skin, and leave the skin with a younger, fresher looking appearance. So, I'm going to be using one teaspoon of the castor oil and pouring this in our container. And next, I'm going to move on to another oil, which is the rosehip oil. For this recipe, guys, you can choose to use any three of your favorite oil. And we're using rosehip oil also because of its vitamin A properties, boosts collagen production, tighten and firm the skin while hydrating the skin. I'm using one teaspoon of the rosehip oil, pouring this in. And now we are going to mix and we're going to mix thoroughly. So slowly mix the ingredient together. Do not rush this step. Take your time and work it in. This is going to take about a minute or two to completely infuse all the ingredients together. So mix well. Now once this is done, here we have our anti-aging facial mask. This facial mask is good to use as an overnight facial mask or as a regular facial mask. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to show you how to use this on your skin for best result. Now there are two ways I like to use this on my skin. I like to use it as a facial mask and I like to use it as an overnight moisturizer. Now when I'm using it as an overnight moisturizer, I use just a little dot. So what I do, I just take a little in my hands like this and I rub it in my hands. It's gonna be very, very creamy and nice. And then I just apply it on my skin in circular motion. It's gonna totally disappear on the skin like a facial cream, okay? So what I do, I rub it on. Don't forget the neck and the décolleté. And then I leave it on my skin for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I like to go back in and I apply this to clean skin. And then I apply a second layer. So I just apply a second layer and it feels really, really good. It goes on feeling smooth and silky and take a look. This is what it looks like on the skin. So then I leave that and I go to sleep up on a rising in the morning. I just rinse this off. My skin feels really soft, really tight and firm looking with a natural glow. I also like to use this as a facial mask and I like using this as a facial mask if I have somewhere special to go to and I want my skin to glow, I want my skin to have firmness and I want my skin to look amazing. So I'll take a bit and I will just apply it to my skin in a thick layer on my skin. The skin is gonna absorb it because it's just like applying lotion on the skin. So I just rub it on my skin like this, thick layer. And then I leave it on my skin for about 30 minutes. What is gonna happen is that you are gonna feel a tightening sensation on the skin. The mask is also gonna dry on the skin. And when it dry on the skin, your skin is gonna feel like someone is just pulling it, just pulling it. That's okay. That is the remedy working on the skin. So leave it for 30 minutes and then I will just rinse it off and apply my favorite moisturizer. Now this mask is good to use every day if you so choose. You can use it AM, PM, it doesn't matter. Sleep with it or use it in the daytime. If you're using it in the daytime, a little goes a long way. So continue to use this and before you know it, you're on your way to amazing, younger, fresher looking skin. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it, use it, come back and leave a comment. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.